So some interesting news coming out of the Arcade 1UP camp today off of Reddit. That's right, a brand new Reddit account was created, and this Reddit account in the Arcade 1UP subreddit posted a link to this German website for a new listing for Arcade 1UP's Time Crisis. And the question is, is has Crisis been averted? There's been a lot of rumors and speculation the last 48 hours that this arcade cabinet was actually canceled that Arcade 1UP had an FCC listing application in order to get Wi-Fi, because anytime you have a Wi-Fi online-enabled arcade or online-enabled anything, you got to have FCC approval to sell your product. That application apparently was taken down, or they sent in a, a request to dismiss the application. But does that mean that this product is not coming? Well, in my opinion, I think the product is still coming, but let's take a look here. So this is this German website. It's got Arcade 1UP Time Crisis on it. And basically, everything that we already kind of knew about this cabinet as things have leaked over the last year has been confirmed in this official listing, such as it is going to have four games, and these are the four games included, which we've already known. Time Crisis, Point Blank, Steel Gunner 1, Steel Gunner 2. This is a deluxe arcade cabinet, so that means it's a no-riser cabinet, but it's going to be pretty tall, 70 inches. That's pretty tall, probably one of the tallest Arcade 1UP products to date, but again, mostly due to that extended Bandai Nameco riser right here, getting you way up to 70 inches with that Time Crisis uh, logo on it. Um, also, another thing, it's going to have a 17-inch screen. I really think these shooting game cabinets need a 19-inch screen with these Sindin light guns, and uh, Arcade 1UP is sticking with the 17-inch screens. Now... Prices on this website are in German, so I have no clue how much this thing is actually going to cost if and when it's released in the United States. It's going to be 100 pounds. It's going to be 18 inches wide. Again, the reason why these things are only about 19 or 20 inches wide, these deluxe arcade cabinets, is there's no riser. And whenever these things sat inside a riser, that added an extra couple in inches in length. So that's why these things used to be like 20, 22 inches in, in, in width, and now they're only about, what, uh, 18 so it's still going to be a pretty narrow cabinet, however, it's going to be a pretty tall cabinet as well. You would kind of worry about it being a wobbly cabinet, however, it's a light gun cabinet. You're going to be standing away from it, not really shaking the cabinet or jerking the cabinet. Now, of course, the big, one of the biggest things about this is in the new photos, we see several things. For instance, if this is the final, final design, they've added kick plate artwork, they've added a coin door, which apparently might light up as well as they've gotten all these red tints in here. They've removed the Nameco logo up here, and instead of it being a plastic looking pedal, this pedal does, it appears to be some kind of metal pedal. So there's possibly this has a metal foot pedal for Time Crisis. But why has it only got one pedal? Well, in case you weren't aware, Time Crisis is a one player game that only requires one gun and one pedal, that's it. Now, when it comes to these other games, Point Blank, Steel Gunner 1, Steel Gunner 2, these are two player games which will require you to use both light guns to play two players, but you don't need to use the pedal at all. That's why this game, this arcade cabinet only has the one pedal. From a design point of view, in my opinion, I think this is a pretty damn looking, ar good, damn good looking arcade machine that they've come up with here. I'm really digging the changes, the fact that they got rid of like all the gray on the kick plate and stuff. It looks less like a tall banana. It looks more like an arcade machine, possibly, I, I guess you could say. Looks pretty cool in my opinion, as you can see here. This pedal, is it still plastic? Is it metal? It looks more metal now, but we'll have to wait and see. Loving the side artwork on this thing. I think that looks pretty cool. It's really gonna pop the bright red colors in your game room, things like that. And taking a look right here, as you can see, 70 inches tall, but a lot of that, a good, it looks like almost 10 inches is going to be this in um, extended marquee so keep that in mind but it's still going to be overall 70 inch tall cabinet but 17 inch screen man and, and you could tell they photoshopped these in because if it had send in if it was a real photo of the game it would actually have the uh the white bars that go around the screen if it was a send in gun obviously this one too you don't see the white bar do you so the, again this is another image that they photoshopped stuck a picture of the game on here then photoshopped this guy standing in front of the in front of the arcade machine. But I gotta tell you, man, from an appearance point of view, again, I think this looks pretty cool. So if this is gonna be the final design, at least from an appearance point of view, 
I'm on board with how this thing looks, but there's obviously a lot of questions that still need to be answered, such as what is the cost of this thing? Is it gonna be too overpriced? If it's like 600 bucks, I can understand that, but if this thing's gonna be seven, 800 bucks, that's gonna be a lot of money, a lot of money. Um, also, uh, 17 inch screen, okay, but uh, you know, uh, are the guns, the recoil effect? Do we have, these do appear to be uh, good impersonations of the Namco guns, but do they have a vibration as the recoil effect or do they actually have the slider on top? I think it might have the slider, but we can't be for certain. So all we know is there is a recoil effect, but how good is it? We'll have to find out as more information comes out. Also, more stuff we need to find out too is the emulation. I think a lot of people forget that the emulation is so important. These games need to play really, really well. Arcade 1UP got a lot of heat in the past, like with the emulation with Terminator 2 and things like that. And if they get the emulation running great, where it's a great experience, well, then that could be another positive to consider purchasing this cabinet. If you're a big multi cave fan like me, and, you know, in my house I have Gun 4 IR, Aim Tracks, Send in Light Guns. What else do I have? Gun 4 IR. Yeah, I have Gun 4 IR, Aim Tracks, Send ins in my house, plus PC builds where I can play these. So if you have multi cades, you know, and the ability to play these games, you could just go that route. But if you're a big, like, dedicated artwork fan, dedicated arcade fan, and also just ease of use, because if there's one thing that Arcade 1UP does do is they give you the ability just to turn something on, access the few games that are on it, fire them up, and you're playing within seconds, that could be another reason why you might want to pick this thing up as well. Uh, but we'll have to see, man. There's still some unanswered questions. How good does it play? How good are the guns? Is that pedal metal or plastic? It looks like it's metal. Uh, that foot pedal as well. And how sturdy will it be? Will that pedal last the test of time? Uh, but man, I really wish they had stuck a 19-inch screen in here as well. But that's what's going on with this Time Crisis cabinet. That's my quick reaction to it. I think that this is a fantastic improvement compared to the original leak that came out a year ago. At least from an appearance point of view. But there's still much, much more we need to learn before making an informed decision. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about this latest leak and what you guys think about the way this cabinet looks and are you still interested in it or is this one completely off your radar? Give me your comments, feedback, reactions below. If you enjoyed this quick video, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.